how to convert minutes to hours and minutes in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert minutes to hour and minute. In this way, we have 61 minutes here in cell A2 in number and here in cell B2, we want to write one hour and one minute. And if it's two hour, then we want two hours and if it's two minutes, we want two minutes. Okay, let's get started. So we have understand the scenario. We have minutes and we need to convert it in hour and minute format. And we want to add text hour or hours, then and and minute or minutes depending on the situation. I'm going to use formula and it's quite a complex formula. So I'm going to use the formula here. And then once we have completed everything, we will insert it here. So here I'm going to add all the hours. Let's write here hour. And here I'm going to write the formula that will separate and because if we don't have hour, then we don't need add. We will only display minutes. Okay. And here I want minutes. We are writing this in three part. And once we write all this formula, then we will add this and give a final result here. So let's learn how to get hour from the minutes. Okay. To get hour from minute, I'm going to use the convert function. For that, I'm going to write here equal to convert. And here is our convert function. If I double click here, this is the number. And this number is in minutes. So I'm going to add comma and from unit will be minute. I'm going to scroll down until I find minutes from this list. Okay. Here we have minutes. I'm going to double click here at comma and two unit will be hour. Okay. And if I close parenthesis and press enter, we have one hour and for one minute we have point, but I don't want to display minutes here. I want full hour here. So I'm going to truncate this. I'm going to wrap this formula with the trunk formula T R U N C double click here and close parenthesis okay now the trunket function is used to remove all the decimal point so we have found how many hour we have in this cell but i want to write in this format one hour so let's add the text hour within this formula okay now we need to consider several things here if we have one then we want to show hour if we have more than one, then we want to show hours. And if we don't have any hour, let's say here we have only 12 minutes, then we don't have any hour. So we won't be able to write hour here. Okay. For that, I'm going to start with the if condition. Okay. If the formula we have written is not equal to zero, then we are going to write the formula again. For that, I'm going to copy everything for this trunk. Okay, so if I paste it here, that means if the value we get is not equal to zero, then it will display the value. Otherwise, it will display nothing. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now if we have let's write here two, then we have nothing. Okay, now if we have right here 61, we have one, but we don't want to display only the digit. We want to display the hour also. So before the value is false, we are going to add an ampersand and then write within double quotation and a space hour. Okay. So here, if it's 12 minutes, we don't have any hour. So it's empty. If it's 120, it says two hour, but here we don't want to write two hour. We want to write two hours. So we need to change the formula a bit. We are going to add another ampersand because we are connecting the S here. Okay. Again, our total number, I'm going to copy that. So the next if function will be if the value we are getting using this formula is greater than one then we want to display s if it's not greater than one then we don't want to do anything so if i press enter here we have two hours now let's write here 60 we have one hour let's write here 120 we have two hours okay 
Now let's focus on the minute part here. So for minute part, I'm going to write here equal to and then mod. This is the value and then add comma. This is the number from where I want to get minutes. So add comma and the divisor will be 60. So if I divided a number with 60, it will give me the remainder. Okay. And that is our minute. So if I close parenthesis and press enter, we have zero because 120. If we have 61 minute, it will give us one hour and one minute. Okay. Now let's format one minute just like we have formatted one hour. Okay. For that, we are going to change this. Let's copy this part. It will be needed in every time. Okay. So if I wrap this function with if this value we have is not equal to zero at comma value is true then we want to show the exact minute and then add ampersand within double quotation a space and minu minute close parenthesis if it's not then we want to keep it empty okay so here 61 minutes equal to one hour one minute here is our hour here is our minute but here if i write here 65 then we have one hour but we have five minutes we don't have any s here so for that we need to wrap this up with another if so i'm going to add the s part so i'm going to add another ampersand and then we are going to write if if the formula we used here that gives us minute is greater than one then at comma to the next parameter i want to write here within double quotation s if it's not greater than one i want to keep it empty if i press enter so we get one hour five minutes now how do you consider the and part if we have both of these then we want and otherwise we don't want and in the middle okay so the condition here if both of them is true then we need to show and otherwise not so for this part we are going to write a formula again i'm going to write here equal to if and as we are going to check two condition i'm going to write here and okay the first logic is our hour part is not equal to zero let's write that here trunk then we are going to add convert we are just using the same function we have written here. I'm not copying it, just typing it. Okay. So this cell, this cell, comma, within double quotation, small mn, two unit will be our close parenthesis and close parenthesis again, not equal to zero. And the second logic will be our minute part is not equal to zero. For that, I'm going to write here mod this cell, comma, 60 again not equal to zero now close parenthesis our and part is complete if it's true then our text will be within double quotation space a and d and then again another space quotation close otherwise i don't want anything close parenthesis now here you can see let's remove this we don't want it if I write here 120, two hours, and we don't have any and and any minute here. If it says 60, one hour, not with S, okay? Now 61, one hour and one minute. And if I write here 62, one hour and two minutes. So everything is working just fine. Now we need to concatenate everything so i'm going to copy this paste this in this cell then i'm going to copy the and part don't need to copy the equal sign and here we are going to add an ampersand and paste the formula and the last part i'm going to copy it again except the equal sign and here at the end of the formula i'm going to add another ampersand and paste this and if i press enter we have converted minutes to hour and minutes so if i drag it it should work okay now here take a look at this 
1 hour 30 minutes and here we have only minutes that shows 12 minutes 30 minutes and here is 5 hours everything is set if it's one then it's singular if it's more than one it's plural everything is working just fine this is how you can convert minutes to hours and minutes in Microsoft Excel using this formula here in this tutorial we have learned how we can use the trunk function convert function mod function if function and also the end function and we also learned how you can nest each function depending on your criteria this is how you should use a formula and this is how you can convert minutes to hours and minutes and the formula will be in the video description please check it from there thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching